A judge orders no bond for the teenager accused of shooting and killing Chicago police officer Andres Mauricio Vasquez Lasso. CBS 2's Jackie Kostick, live in the newsroom now with what we know about the moments that led up to the officer being killed and how he is being honored today. Jackie, good morning. Suzanne, good morning to you. A prayer vigil will be held for Officer Vasquez Lasso at 12.30 today in Mount Greenwood Park by members of the 22nd District Police Station. Funeral planning is also underway for next week. So yesterday, a full salute from the Chicago Fire Department lining the street as the ambulance carrying the body of that fallen officer made its way from the medical examiner's office to the funeral home in Oak Lawn. Meantime, at the Layton Criminal Court, Courthouse, the teenager accused of killing Vasquez Lasso had his first bond meeting. Dozens of police officers packed the courtroom to hear the murder charge against 18 year old Stephen Montano. That state's attorney sharing chilling new details about the officer's final moments after he responded to a domestic call. Montano and his girlfriend were arguing about their relationship, and prosecutors say Montano's girlfriend ran inside of their home while Vasquez Lasso chased. Montano, who was armed and had jumped a fence, entering the schoolyard of Sawyer Elementary. The state's attorney says it's unclear who shot their gun first, but both did. Vasquez Lasso was shot in the head and leg, and kids on the playground were the youngest witnesses. Now, the visitation for Vasquez Lasso will begin Thursday in Oak Lawn, and the funeral will be held at St. Rita in Ashburn. Jackie Costick, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Jackie.